Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Chameleon SS25 collapsible whip. It's a 25 foot whip. It collapses down to 27 inches. It weighs 1.3 pounds. Uh, without any other add-ons, this whip will cover six to 30 meters. You can tune it to get resident by the length, obviously. Uh, there's all kinds of accessories you can add. I'm gonna show you one of the configurations and how I'm gonna set it up today. All right, let's take a closer peek at this. Uh, the construction's great. I love it. There's a rolled pin in the bottom to hold everything. It's all stainless steel. Uh, I forget how many sections are in this. I'll, I'll post that later. Uh, the top section is real thick and not brittle. They could have went smaller on the top. But yeah, this thing's uh, pretty burly. Let's get to setting it up. Okay, there's lots of ways you can set this up. Today, I'm gonna be using the tripod. You could also use, for example, the spike, which I hope to show you in some future videos. I'm gonna to try to do this thing soda. Today I'm gonna to be doing poda. Anyways, for the tripod, you need this adapter. This is a surveyor's tripod. Some people might call it transit legs in the construction industry. So what this adapter does is it screws on to the tripod. And I'm also gonna be using the impasse micro today and then that will screw right into the top of this. And notice there is six spots for counterpoise along the edge that plug into the side with banana plugs. Today I'm gonna be using the wires, but there's also stingers. There's a couple different variations in the stingers. There's some longer ones, and then there's some shorter ones. Depending on the footprint, you're gonna make that day. So you just simply put this on. Let's get rid of the spike. Screw it on there. If you have your shackle on, take your shackle off. And then your whip's gonna screw in here. Let's get right to it. Okay, what I did here is on the tripod legs, there's these little foot pegs. You can stomp it into the ground to make sure it's real steady. I tried to adjust the legs to get this as plumb straight up and down as possible. You just simply screw in the whip. I really like how this deploys super fast. And if you have the stingers, the footprint is super small. And then just extend your whip. Ta-da! All right, here it is all extended fully to the 25 feet. I haven't put my counterpoise wires on yet. Okay, here is the counterpoise wire kit. It comes with six of these winders. And I'm not quite sure how much wire is in here. I could not find that, but we're about to find out. So you can cut your own counterpoise wires to whatever length you want. So there's the banana plugs. These aren't your normal banana plugs. I thought these were cool. These ones are all metal. These aren't like the, the plastic I use. Uh, it also comes with some shrink wrap and these little rings, which I believe are to put on the other end of your counterpoise wires so you could stake them. And then there's also the little tiny metal clips to attach them. I don't know if you could see it in there in the bag. So there's six of everything. Let's get to cutting some wire. Okay, counterpoise wires all cut. Uh, one thing I really did like about these, I know this is way different than my other banana plugs. There's two screws instead of just one. It gets a way better uh, bite on there. I didn't put any of the shrink wrap or anything. I'm just doing a quick one in the field. And I ran out of wire. I'm gonna assume there's 100 feet here, but I cut some different lengths for some different bands. And then I did a 25 and I just didn't have enough for to make two more feasible ones. So then I did whatever was left over, but I got plenty of wire at home. All right, just gotta hook up the coax and let's try to get activated. For more information on the SS25 whip, I highly recommend you go to Bob HOA Ham. I'll post a link up here, but he did a spectacular video. I just, I just can't beat. And he does all kinds of testing and gives all kinds of technical information. I, I really highly recommend you check out Bob's video. Sorry about the glare, I'm out in the field here. We're all set up. Let's uh, do some SWR scans. Let's 
So here's a sweep of 40 meters. It's pretty much one to one there. Looking really good. Looking good, one to one again. Looking great again. Really digging it so far. Looking really good. So far, so good. Wow, 10 meters is just flat. 10 meters is looking epic. Try six meters for giggles. I think pretty long for six. Holy moly. It's actually looking good on six. I thought it was way too long for that. 80 meters. Okay, starting to creep up a little there on 80. Still doable. I operated 80 the other night with it. All right, here's the setup I'll be using today. Notice I put the common mode choke uh, to the radio side, attempting to use the coax as another counterpoise. I'm using the Zygu X6200 uh, paired up with the XPA125B. And uh, you've seen all about the antenna. Whiskey 6 India Whiskey November for the Aeronautic Mobile. My call is uh, Whiskey 6 India Whiskey November. One more time with your, your call, and if you could tell me a little bit about uh, where you're flying and what you're doing. Okay, what I heard was Whiskey 6 India Whiskey November. This is November. All right, it was a success. Uh, I activated POTA. I actually got a aeronautical mobile HF right now. That is a first for me. That was really cool. I enjoyed that. I was about to start calling CQ POTA, and then I heard him call out. So I was really excited to get him and listen to his big old pile up up there in the air. Uh, anyways, he was flying over somewhere by Alaska. So I enjoyed uh, figuring out how to set this up. This is all new to me. I like how it deploys super quick. I also live in an HOA where I can't have an antenna. I work my rain gutter or have been, which just isn't that great at all. So this is cool. I can take it outside, set it up temporarily, and then bring it in when I'm done. I haven't had any complaints so far. And it has like, it's pretty small and it's kind of stealthy. It's very shiny. One guy uh, came by and he said, I like your shiny fishing pole. I kind of got a giggle. Uh, but anyways, it's my Sunday. I got to go grocery shopping and uh, get back to real life. But I appreciate you watching and I hope to do some more on this. If this is something you're interested in, I'm gonna post links below to everything I was using today in the video description. And I hope to get out there and uh, play with it some more. 7-3.